Hey guys, what's up? We're big fans of making dumbass choices. Let's do shots before our video because everybody wants to throw up. All right, welcome back everybody. To the rich and the gameless. <laughs> <laughs> so, this episode, or Two-parter, 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 two parts, not in one. You'll see the other part next time. <laughs> in, in anticipation of the new consoles being released for the next generation, we're going to do a list of attributes, let's say, for previous generations of consoles that are rare and expensive. Mm -hmm. Some of them are not as expensive. You lie! Some of them are affordable. Come on. Don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Bullshit. A lot of collectors do have some of the affordable ones, and yeah. by the time we get to the end of this list, you're gonna say, what the? Yeah, you're not. <laughs> you're not. Give me a ching. I was gonna say, give me a high five, but I don't think that's what it's called. Cheers. <laughs> Can I just say that every time we have to drink wine, I cringe a little bit? You make good wine, but it makes me drunk. And? We have fun. Yeah. I have fun anyway. Alright. Should we start this thing off? Start her off. We have a list of 20 consoles. You're already starting. We have a list of 20 consoles, and this is gonna be a two part video. So we're gonna start with 20 and work our way down to the most expensive console. Landing it at number 20. Are we counting these all down individually? Yeah. Okay. Sega Saturn Derby console coming in at $225. It's estimated that between 10,000 and 50,000 of this variation were made. Console released in Japan and South America. They were a clear black colored console with a red eject button. Came with a blue skeleton controller and was released to celebrate the start of Game Horse Racing Derby Stallion and it was released in March 99. March 99. I think I would have had one of those for my birthday, but I didn't. I wasn't with you in March 99, so tell your ex-girlfriend. No, no, no. 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 Um, I, did, I wasn't with you. I don't even have a Saturn right at the moment. You so don't. if you do feel the need. I feel the need. To get you on, this would be the one. The need for speed. <laughs> get me, get me one of these suckers. If I could track yeah. one down, I would. They're only two twenty-five. Oh, is only this? This is U.S. though. These are U.S. prices, so this so is probably like, like six thousand dollars Canadian. Not that bad, but yeah. Next. Next. Poke. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I've never heard of that console. Not even once. Is that Japanese? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Is it the wine? It's already the wine and the stupid friggin' shot! They're not stupid. They're stupid. Pokemon Stadium Battle Set for N64 coming in at $355. Comes with Pokemon Stadium game, a regular gray N64, an atomic purple controller, and one gray one. N64 transfer pack and a Pokemon trainer journey, whatever the hell that is. Uh, some countries got the VHS anime bundle in with it, so it definitely wasn't released anytime soon. It was released in November 2000. I don't have one of these either. No. Nope. I'm not that big of a Pokemon fan either. Uh, for some we reason, we wouldn't even be allowed to have it because Alex would completely he steal would it. it. He would steal it. But for some reason, I think, I think there may have been one with a watch. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Correct Scott in the comment section. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next. Okay. Did you fart? <laughs> no. Was that a fart? It's the chair. It was a chair. It was, I'll do it again. <laughs> was that your back? <laughs> yeah, probably. Coming in at number 18, Another Pokemon, Pika Pika. Yes, Pikachu N64. 
Coming in at $500, it came with the game Hey You Pikachu, voice recognition unit, 256 word database, and controller with a microphone built in, animated talking watch. This is That's the talking watch. That's the one watch. I'm thinking of. Yes. Japanese release in December 98 and North American release in November 2000. I remember showing this to Alex and he already knew about it. Did he? And then told me how much it sucked because it didn't work good. Oh. <laughs> but for back then, it was like, holy crap, voice recognition. Yeah, yeah. voice recognition. Top of the line. 256 <laughs> words. That's more words than I know. None of the good words. Like, like four letter? Yeah. Number 17, and you know what, in saying this, I don't, I didn't say number 19 was number 19, but you know, whatever, we're drinking wine, we're fucking stuff up. Uh, number 17, uh, Destiny, The Taken King, PS4, at $500, and it was a white Destiny-inspired 500 gigabyte limited edition PS4 system and physical copy of Destiny, The Taken King, Legendary Edition, Includes Destiny, Expansion 1 and 2, and The Taken King. That was a mouthful. Digital Collector's Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Digital Collector's Edition includes three exotic Guardian class items with XP bonuses, three classic specific emotes, three armor shaders, early access weapons pack. And that was released in September 2015, and most of that meant nothing to me. We were married at 2015. We were married? Yeah. Not that wasn't the day, but we were married. I was going to say, you're four years off, bud, in a couple months. Holy shit. But your excuse from before why I didn't get a gift was because we weren't together, so. You want that? Didn't you say, didn't last week, didn't last week when we did a live stream, you're like, I bought Destiny Sealed, but I heard it sucked. Yeah. So, shut up. But I didn't try it. You, I might be one of the people that love it. Then love that, that it. means you suck. Number 16, God of War Special Edition PS4 Pro, coming in at 650 bucks. It was sold for standard price at launch on uh, April 2018, but has since become more collectible and has gone up in price. Probably because God of War. Kratos is awesome. He stole the look from me, by the way. Okay. Uh. I don't even, I don't even know where I was at. Feature God of War deluxe content and controller engraved with ruins. Console design is inspired by the axe Kratos wields in the new God of War. I he wields, he wields a big axe. Oh, you're a <laughs> Oh, you can say stupid shit, but I can't say stupid stuff. People look at me and I just assume that I'm stupid and furry. <laughs> I don't know. Expect and feel bad for you. Expect the unexpected. Move on. <laughs> Number 15, Taco Bell Platinum Xbox One. Yo X. Quiero Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. uh, probably comes with a little chihuahua. Coming in at $700. I could feed them to the cat. <laughs> you could. We have 30 pound cats. Taco Bell contest where to enter you had to buy a $5 double chalupa box. Winner got Xbox One X with a three month of Game Pass, three month Xbox Gold, and Xbox Elite wireless controller. When you started up the console, you got the Taco Bell chime. They never mentioned what else you got. You got the shits. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you read my mind. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas! Generous Well, this next one. I think you should get for me. Okay. Number 14, Metal Gear Solid Special Edition PS4 at $740. Phantom Pain Edition with special metallic gray controller with Diamond Dog insignia on both controller and console. Red top, black bottom, and gold accent down the middle. <laughs> that just sounds bad. That sounds like something else. Red top, black bottom. <laughs> Woo, she's just redhead with a big booty. <laughs> the color is meant to represent Snake's handgun. It was released in September 2015. I got your Snake handgun right here. Oh, we're gonna get canceled off YouTube. You can edit this stuff out. You did that. That's a thing. Not when it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Number 13. 
special edition Xbox 360 console with Russell Crowe on it because my duh fucking hero. Don't you dare <laughs> say anything bad Russell about Crow Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe is your hero? Yes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> because he was in what's that movie? Yeah, that movie was <laughs> awesome. It was awesome. No, 300? Was that what it was? No, he wasn't in 300. Yes, he was. No, he was wasn't. Was that not Russell Crowe? Not Russell Crowe. Who was that? Is I'm going to look it up. I think it's Russell Crowe. Get on your phone. And I right think now. you're wrong. Anyways, Russell it was Russell Crowe! Bullshit. Ah! I'm positive it was Russell Crowe. You don't know nothing. I don't know. I don't know. How much are we betting? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gonna be something naughty. <laughs> oh, he was a gladiator? That's the one you're thinking of. No, wait, I could still be right. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Can you bear with me? Winner, winner. Hot dog dinner. Who was in 300 then? <laughs> Not him. In front of me. Oh, it's Gerard Butler. Oh, he Gerard. Kinda looks, he kind of looks like Don't Russell. Don't insult Gerard. He kind of looks like Russell Crowe. He kind of looks like Russell Crowe. But cool. Until Russell Crowe got... Don't. I... He... Don't, don't fat shame. I'm not. He got thick and juicy. <laughs> he he gained a lot of weight. He did. It what happened. The Gerard guy. You gonna fit shame him because he was so ripped in 300? Yeah. Yeah, I hated it. Oh, he's just too. <laughs> he's too muscular. He's just <laughs> cut. And, oh, it's oiled up all the time. Oh, it's just. I don't even know what women see in it. <laughs> Number 13, special edition Xbox 360 console with Russell Crowe, who is. Not in 300. Boom! At a uh, thousand plus. Uh, celebrates Xbox 360's first anniversary in Australia. It was auctioned off for Make-A-Wish Foundation under campaign console for kids. Other celebrity additions include it. Peter Jackson, The Wiggles, and <laughs> racing legend Mark Scaife and Craig Lowndes, to name a few. And if I screwed up your name, I'm Really care. sorry. So if Russell Crowe could get it a was thousand, released in 2010. What the hell would fucking Sparta? What would he get? I don't know. He wasn't on it. But yeah, but he would have got way more. Maybe. What do you like better? Did you like Gladiator or 300? Uh, I think 300. I like I'm way more into the action, but Gladiator was a good one. Gladiator was a good one. But I, I tend to agree. I like 300 better as well. Not for that reason! Just yeah. because it was a better movie! Uh-huh. Shut up! All those ripped, greasy dudes. Yeah, I hated them. Mm -hmm. Hated them. Anyways. It's not why I watched it. It was a good movie. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. How many times did it take you to get How to the movie? How many times did you watch <laughs> friggin' Need for Speed? Or whatever it was called. What was it called? With Angelina Jolie in it. I really on in 60 seconds? Yeah. Like, oh, I like it because the other dude's in it. No, you didn't. Just <laughs> should have called it finished in 60 seconds. <laughs> Number 12. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. PS4 20th Anniversary Edition. Uh, $1,200? Released in, I know, released in 2015. Made to look like a PS1. Extremely limited. Fully. Was also given out as competition prizes in the UK. And also came with custom PS1 style dashboard and original startup sound. Pretty cool. Can we put that in? Is that copyrighted? Probably copyrighted. Oh, it's probably that, copyrighted. That's awesome though. That's... Yeah. Just do it with your mouth. Okay. <laughs> that's what she said. Do you know what? <laughs> so this is the last one. We're ripping through this. It could be all one show, Dan. It could be one show. Maybe. Maybe. Or just two quick ones. Just two quick ones. I, I always promise two quick ones. Number 11, the Sega AWA CD. AWA? A I W A? AWA. AWA. At $1,800 plus. It looked like a CD player, and it is, as well as an AM FM radio, but actually plays Sega Mega Drive and Mega CD games. Yeah. Two component systems that connect it. It's estimated that between 1,000 and 5,000 of these were made. That's a big scale. Like, how would you not know what's closer to one or the other? 
Released in Japan in August 1994. Holy smoke! Way of the Samurai. I was only like four years old then. That's <laughs> <laughs> so what we're lying now, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Guy that you want to lie about? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay guys, uh, that's the end of this part of our console video. Stay tuned for our second part, which we're gonna film right after this, but it won't be released to you right away because you, like, no, that's a lot. That's a lot to sit through. That's what she said. That's a lot of us. Okay guys, until next time, game on. Say it. Ow, yes dear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some more wine. Let's get some wine.